Delhi's air pollution. The national capital region has turned into a gas chamber. The air quality in many parts of Delhi and CR is in the hazardous category. A persistent smoky haze has been blanketing the region for the third consecutive day. Now, in light of the rising pollution levels, all government and private primary schools in Delhi will remain closed for two days today onwards. In the light of the deteriorating air quality as well, the third stage of the Graded Response Action Plan or GRAP has been invoked in Delhi NCR. Now, amid the rising concerns, Delhi Environment Minister Gopal Rai held a meeting of all concerned state departments today. He appealed to the people of Delhi to use public transport, including metro and buses, to control pollution. The NGT, meanwhile, has taken note of the situation and has sent a notice to the Delhi Health Ministry as well as AIMS Director. The Delhi Metro Rail Corporation, DMRC, has announced 20 additional metro trips starting today in a bid to encourage more and more people to use public transport. The situation is not any better in Noida as well. A thick blanket of smog has gripped the area with low visibility and breathing issues. हमारा होली चाइल्ड ऑक्सिलियम स्कूल सेक्टर 12 आर के पुरम में है एंड बिकॉज ऑफ सिवियर पोल्यूशन द स्कूल हैज बीन क्लोज डाउन लेकिन ऑनलाइन क्लासेस हो रही हैं और विच इज करेक्ट जो राइट डिसीजन है बिकॉज बच्चों की हेल्थ ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है बच्चों को प्रॉब्लम हो रही है बच्चों को ही नहीं सबको प्रॉब्लम हो रही है तो कुछ टाइम के लिए जब तक भी होगा We also prefer online classes. कि वेदर आप देख सकते हैं कितनी धुंध है विजिबिलिटी भी बहुत कम है तो ऐसे वेदर में बच्चों को इस वेदर का एक्सपोजर ठीक नहीं है तो आई थिंक गवर्नमेंट हैज टेकन अ राइट डिसीजन टू कीप चिल्ड्रन इंडोर एंड ऑब्वियसली वी विल बी टेकिंग ऑनलाइन क्लासेस सो दैट चिल्ड्रन डोंट मिस द स्टडीज प्रदूषण की वजह से स्कूल बंद है ऑनलाइन कर दिए तो मैसेज डाले थे उसको हम लोग ध्यान नहीं दिए और देख नहीं पाए इस वजह से हम लोग को पता नहीं चला कंस्ट्रक्शन पे जो बैन लगा है उसमें कुछ गतिविधियों को जो है उनको छूट दी गई है लेकिन आज बैठक में निर्णय लिया गया है कि जिन गतिविधियों को छूट दी गई है वहां पर इन सभी एजेंसियों को जो काम कर रही हैं उन एजेंसियों को डस्ट मेजर्स के जो चौदह सूत्रीय नॉर्म हैं उन्हें फॉलो करना होगा अगर वो फॉलो नहीं करते हैं तो फिर उन पर पेनाल्टी लगाई जाएगी ईला माई कॉलिग ज्वाइंस अस विद द लेटेस्ट ग्राउंड सिचुएशन इन द नेशनल कैपिटल लेट्स कनेक्ट विद हर ईला दिस हैज बीन अ वेरी वेरी कंसर्निंग डे फॉर डेली आइट्स एंड पीपल हु लिव इन द एनसीआर बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली द सिटीजन्स आर यूज्ड टू इट इट हैज बिकम एन एनुअल अनफॉर्चुनेट इवेंट दैट गोज ऑन फॉर अबाउट टू टू थ्री मंथ्स एवरी विंटर बट राइट नाउ व्हाट्स द स्टेटस लाइक व्हाट आर द पीपल सेइंग इज देयर अ बिट ऑफ रिलीफ from morning now the weather has improved slight a bit because he is is now lesser than what it was in the morning let me show you through my visuals that from the morning what picture has changed you can look right now in front of me i am right now at dnd and you can see uh, this is yamuna area which was totally invisible in the morning but now it is somewhat visible but that doesn't change the quality of the air because because the quality of air is consistently remaining poor and very poor and in some of the areas it is very severe as well if i talk about many of the delhi hotspot are noticing more than 400 eqi we are still saying that there is haze in the atmosphere a thin layer of smog present and most of the areas are having eqi higher than 400 which is in severe category which is really concerning because this kind of air affect uh, to the lungs and causes respiratory illness even uh, environmental minister gopal rai today held a meeting with all the departments departments and after that he has said that uh, they are 
considering and seeing the situation if it is it deteriorated further then they can also implement or even scheme as well as he strictly said that norms should be followed wherever there is public construction going on that is construction related to government projects then the norms related to the dust control should be followed and if these norms are not followed then strict actions would be taken place so we are seeing that it is the same year every year we are seeing same story where the, this kind of toxic air is impacting people people are saying that they are not able to breathe and they are having itchiness in their eyes burning of eyes these are the normal symptoms and every other person is having cough and cold like symptom due to the pollution so it has really become very tough for people to survive in delhi and cr because of the air pollution over to you the stubble burning continues to take place in the neighboring states my colleague gurpreet sends us this report from punjab's ropar take a look all these visuals from the ground what is happening at this point of time we can see the stubble burning is still continuing in the state of punjab and the farmers say they are not able to get the proper equipment from the state government that is one of the reasons why they are forced to go for this stubble burning even they has also put a lot of question mark of the state government saying that why the compensation which has already been directed by the apex court supreme court to give to the farmers so that the farmers should not uh, continue this stubble burning and the way we have seen the pollution level has already been increased in the national capital because of the stubble burning which is happening in the state of punjab haryana uttar pradesh also even the farmers they are telling their side of story they are saying the state government should try to make a proper strategy so that uh, the farmers should get a proper equipment and this stubble burning should not happen in the state of punjab so let's see that how the state government is going to uh, get the solution uh, whether they are holding the meeting with the farmers they are trying to provide them machines or 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 to them or not but as of now what we can see here the stubble burning is still continuing in the state of punjab